All right, Chris, now it's time for sports. Hard to believe we're now past the halfway point of the regular season for high school football. Week five tonight across the state, and we'll start our coverage with Danville at Tri-West, number three versus number five in Class 3A. So sometimes in a matchup like this, you got to get a little tricky. Danville does that. Kale Payne, the pass to Andrew Papa. Heads up, it's coming right at you. What a grab. Big play there. Scoreless after one. Warriors get on the board because Big Papa to the house. It makes it 7-0. The Bruins would have an answer. They'll go to the air. Ty Owens looking, looking, still looking. Keep the play alive. Jeffrey Marsh Jr. gets it down inside the 10-yard line. Then Nick Joyner has got some work to do. He can smell the end zone, and he's going to find his way in. Not easy, but give him six. Later on, it's the Bruins getting back at it, going with the deep ball. Brian Wiest with the pick. Danville in a close one. They take it 14-7. to seven. Heritage Christian, 4-0, ranked third in Class 2A, hosting Sassina. And it's all about converting in the red zone. Eagles doing just that. Kyle Antoine rolling out. Zach Schlammer. Butcher the name, but he didn't butcher the play. Toe tapping for the early lead. Sassina's turn. They come back. Here comes the sack. Colin Thompson, among others, getting the job done. Back to Heritage's offense. Antoine looking deep across the middle. Austin Yates there for the big play. And it's Antoine yet again through the air. The combination works yet again. Great footwork. HC takes it 20 to 14. Bloomington South ranked third in 5A. They're on the road tonight at Terre Haute North, or Terre Haute South, I should say. On the offense, Josh Cody bottled up. It's ripped free, but then the Panthers keep right at it. We're going the other way with Bloomington South. Next play, Zach David swing pass to Cooper Fox. Look at the moves out in the wild, 52 yards for the touchdown. Bloomington South wins in shutout fashion, 20 to nothing. Great game on the west side. Warren's Mike Kirshner facing his old team, Ben Davis. Warriors down 13 points, less than two to play, but they've got a rally. Daniel Tippett the fourth to Khalil Howard inside the five, still down six. They need the touchdown. They go on the ground. Demarion Harris takes it in. They get the extra point. How about that for a rally? 57-56. Homecoming at Brownsburg. Bulldogs hosting Fishers. It was Caleb Marcus' show tonight on the field. First quarter, he puts the dogs on top. 10-0 with a short TD run. But Fishers keeping this thing close. Watch Kobe Martin from 18 yards out. Takes it around. Misdirection. Can he get the edge? Yes, he can. He'll find the purple paint. 10-7 at the half. Third quarter, it's Marcus on the receiving end. Jaden Whitaker, 25 yards. That's concentration there. Juggling into the zone. Made it 23-7. Dogs, third quarter. Carson Dunn, he'll get in for the Tigers. But Marcus, just too much. Couple more TDs on the night. He finished with five scores in the game. Brownsburg runs away 39-21. Noblesville and Zionsville squaring off. The Millers get the ball first. And they take advantage. Unique backfield action. What is this? What's this tomfoolery? Logan Schaffner up the middle. He's just 5'5", five, five, doing it for the little guys. 40 yards for the 7-0 lead. Later, Zionsville backed up to their own one. He's going a long way the wrong way if you're for the home team because look at the speed. Breaking it all the way. Colin Price. That's a highlight right there. Final score, 41-26. Zionsville takes it. Now, no question at number one, reigning 6A champ Center Grove. They have been a well-oiled machine, and they're doing the same this year. Tonight, a MIG matchup for the Trojans. They're on the road at North Central. First half, Taven Jackson. He's back to pass loads of time, and, well, he'll throw it eventually. Lofts it up to Harrison Stomps, and he'll stomp his way into the end zone. 39-0. Second half begins. Panthers kick off the Trojans' Brandon Wheat. He gets it back, and... You can see where this is going. It's going all the way to the house. Get that ball in the other arm, young man. Can't stop him, though. Center Grove wins it 53-7. Hamilton County now. Carmel hosting unbeaten Lawrence North. Visiting Wildcats. Some issues. Montez Jones can't handle the snap. Falls on it. Carmel takes over. Zach Osborne then taking the high snap. 
looking, finding Reese Bellin. Solid play. Later, more of the aerial attack. Osborne looking. Buy some time. Chucks it deep. Desmond Duffy. He's got it. That's the score. Carmel wins big, 44 to 14. Lawrence Central at Pike, tied 14 all at the half. Now let's go to the third quarter. The Bears punting. The ball is up. The ball is down. It hits the turf. Anthony Ledford Jr., look out. Scoop it up and go. That's a live ball. And he is off and running. Red Devils, though, would turn it over on downs, and that gives LC possession. Bryson Luter looking, rolling. You know what? He can run it. He'll do just that. Picks up the first down, getting the job done. He can run. He can throw. Luter to Charles Vaden. He's got it. That's a touchdown. Lawrence Central wins a shootout 40 to 28. 